Virgo, are you finding yourself stuck? Are you finding yourself unable to move from a situation or position or relationship that you know you need to move from? Well, my friends, hello, hello, beautiful souls. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. If you are new here, hello, my name is Zachary. It's nice to meet you. And if you're returning, it's good to see you guys again. Pull up a chair. So Virgo, I'm looking at your energy here in meditation, I did pull an Oracle card and then we'll get into the tarot messages as we do. Uh, the message that actually came through was a symbol that came through for Capricorn um, or in the springtime. Okay, so I'm going to show the symbol to you here and give you instructions on what it's for and how to use it. This is titled Elevated Exit. So feel free to pause if you'd like to draw this out. And I will explain, explain its function. So elevated exit here, first of all, and I said this in the Capricorn reading too, but this reminds me of a snake, like being in the belly of the snake here. So like I said in the beginning, uh, maybe you're feeling trapped or stuck in like the belly of the beast here. Something has swallowed you whole and you're feeling as if you don't have the ability to exit from whatever situation this is. Well, now you're worried, my friends. <clears throat> We're going to utilize the symbol. So this is to help you break free from something that is um, a situation where you are feeling trapped, okay, or restricted. So the instructions here are to draw the symbol out. Well, to draw it out over your food, excuse me. It was to digest this was the instruction. So you can draw it out with your finger here. Right uh, over your food, like I said, the Capricorn tube. I'm not condoning eating paper. <laughs> I guess if you have a, a digestible something that you can draw on and draw with, by all means, go for it. Um, drawing it with your finger over your food works just the way you need it to. Okay. Um, so yes, you can do this as many times as you need to. This is allowing you the ability to break free from where you are feeling trapped. So moving into, well, first, actually, second part of the message that came through was attache and then don't, don't attache. <laughs> so attache is, um, it's a French word, uh, but it can symbolize like a briefcase, something that carries documents or something, purse, wallet, an attache, something that we have attached to us, right? An attache can also be um, a diplomatic uh like a, a, an assistant, a diplomatic assistant, essentially. Um, it's a position of a person that works with a diplomat. Um, and they, they facilitate um, staying informed, making sure that things run smoothly, that sort of thing. So with a don't attache coming through, actually what I'm getting is that whatever situation it is you are feeling trapped in right now, um, the request is actually not to start delegating responsibilities or pulling other people into your situation to get it fixed. I love that the elevated exit came through. This is giving you a tool here to take care of what you need to take care of on your own. And that's not to say that it's a bad thing to reach out for help or anything like that, but this, this is what's coming through in the message so far. So um, we did have one Oracle card, the Blue Angel Oracle that Spirit wanted to pull here. And you got enlightenment, or we got, I'm a Virgo rising Virgo moon. So we got enlightenment and enlightenment here is liberation. Well, hey, <laughs> so yeah, very strong. I'm feeling somebody where we're feeling stuck somewhere and we're needing to be free of that. I'm going to read this from the book here real quick. There's no need to hide behind, a, hide behind a persona that you think others will find more acceptable. The real you is far more beautiful. You are not your personality, nor your job, qualifications, or achievements. You are not your successes or failures or any other earthly thing. Who you are is far more noble and precious than anything you can possibly imagine. Imagine yourself surrounded by a warm and gentle rose quartz light. Feel yourself bathed in this healing energy until you imagine nothing but light. Let yourself be free of the restrictions you have placed upon yourself. You are a beautiful soul, perfect just the way you are. So let your inner light shine through. It is time to free yourself from the illusion that prevents you from being all that you can be. <clears throat> wow. So the restriction here could also be something that is self-imposed, like this card is talking about any restrictions that you have placed on yourself use, using this visual practice of the rose quartz light, um, maybe while you're also utilizing this symbol here. So whether it is self-imposed, 505 on the timer, 
whether it's self-imposed or you're just finding yourself in a situation where you feel stuck, let's figure out how to get you free, okay? I, I do encourage utilizing this symbol here though, you guys. And eventually I, <laughs> I will get an Oracle deck together with all of these symbols, those that have been following for a minute here. Um, it is just a task. So at some point I'd like to do that, but I may, I don't know, distribute the symbols before then so that you guys can use more of them. We'll see. We'll see what Spirit says. Okay, I'll chat. Um, all right, let's get into your message a little bit further here, Virgo. Um, what do we want to move on to? The Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Oracle Deck. For Virgo here, please. Spirit. What does Virgo... Beaver. Beaver comes through. So um, the the part that's standing out to me here about this, actually, the beaver is um, willing to do hard work. There's, there's that's not an issue but the beaver doesn't typically start something or instigate a project they will take care of it though once they've been roped into it kind of thing um so this is feeling this is feeling like to me the hard part in wherever it is you're feeling stuck is getting to that point of taking initiative like if somebody starts this process for you of getting unstuck, you'll finish it, right? The hard part is taking that first first step, excuse me. But once you take that first step, you're willing to put the energy into finishing it up too. Um, I did get a new animal oracle deck too here, familiar field. I'm going to pull one of these as well for Virgo, please, spirit. The chameleon. Patience, adaptability, and change. <laughs> okay. Um, whatever is going on right now where, where you are feeling stuck or if you're feeling stuck, this, this could also be stagnant is something I'm getting here. Maybe you're not feeling stuck where you are, but you're feeling stagnant. You're feeling a lack of growth, perhaps. So this energy with the symbol will help move you into a new growth phase here too if that's what it is that you're seeking but patience adaptability and change i do feel change is coming or change is available there is a need for you to be adaptable right now and forevermore right um some of you may be struggling with more shadow components of virgo right now especially if you are feeling stuck um, that's going to be something like a hyper fixation on perfection on the details of something and it feels like right now the details um, details are always important for sure but if you're feeling stuck somewhere and needing to move somewhere else the only detail that matters is something needs to change that's what i'm getting here okay all right let's move into tarot for you guys so let's start with the curious travels tarot deck for virgo please spirit what messages do we have for virgo <laughs> The hermit here right at the split. Hey, that's you, Virgo. Um, so being highlighted here in this reading, this does feel like um, this is an important message for someone. Wherever you're feeling stuck, there is a need to get out of this. Um, I do feel with that Hergo, Her, Virgo there, excuse me, that hermit there. <laughs> hermit Virgo, that hermit there, that Virgo energy, that feels a bit more like... Um, isolation rather than solitude coming through. Maybe you're feeling isolated. But what I'm getting, whatever this experience is that you're feeling trapped, you aren't actually isolated. There's a need to get out of this belly of the snake, whatever this belly of the snake is. It's affecting the way that you're able to see. Okay. Um, for Virgo here, please, Spirit. Huge shout out to my 911 there on the timer too. Okay, so 911, that does symbolize typically for me asking for help, a call, a call for help. Um, what I'm getting here, and like I said, it's not, there's not anything wrong with asking for help or um, encouraging support from other people. Whatever this particular situation is, it feels like that support or connection is there for you, but there's something that you're being requested to do as a first step. And I'm not talking about extreme situations, you guys, like if you're, you know, Stockholm somewhere, I'm sure you're probably not watching this video, first of all, but that's not the kind of situation I'm talking about, obviously. Um, this is something where you are more than capable of getting yourself out of whatever the situation is, and maybe that support comes after, okay? 
Okay. Um, the world here at the bottom. Yeah. Um, okay. You're crossing a major threshold here. Coming to um, a cycle close and something. Your ability to take care of your own needs. Okay. Huge shout out to channel members, you guys. Hello. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a link in the description of the video. Um, you can check out the, or you can click the join button next to the subscribe button under this video as well. And feel free to check out any of your other placements in your chart for more, um, more additional information, <laughs> more additional, additional information on your story. We do have every sign in our chart, just depends on where and um, how it affects us, okay? So at the bottom here, Four of Swords. This is your hope, hopes and hopes and dreams or desires. Four of Swords is rest, taking a break. Um, part of where you may feel stuck right now is in doing something. Maybe you feel stuck in your job um, or a relationship. You're wanting to take a rest or a break here. Um, this feels like something though that it's, it's starting to cause um, or is causing pain in the heart, heartbreak here. You're hoping to be able to put that away and rest. Give your heart a rest. Okay, I feel you. I feel you, Virgo. All right, let's do the Black Seed Tarot here for your next deck. What do we have here for Virgo, please, Spirit? My Virgo friends. This is a general message, you guys. Please keep that in mind. You are super smart. Magician here at the split, too. That's your card as well. Gemini and Virgo. It's my card. Gemini, Sun, Virgo, Rising, Virgo, Moon. <laughs> um, you guys are super smart. So please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which of these messages are for you. It's okay if it's not for you, and it's okay to leave it behind if it's not for you. I do have private readings open and available, too, if you guys are wanting a little bit of additional help on something more personal to you. Feel free to check out the description of this video. My website's in there. Okay, Seven of Swords here at the bottom. Um, this is your fear, aversion, anxiety. So Seven of Swords is a sneaky theft, betrayal kind of energy. This could this could be like a trauma coming up is sort of what I'm feeling, depending on what's going on or where you're feeling stuck. Um, and how long you've been there too. This could be creating feelings of like maybe everyone's out to get you or you never get what you want things are constantly taken from you etc etc um is this like my life all the time now is everybody just out to get me does everybody want to use me that kind of thing is what i'm getting no they don't that's not that is not intrinsically correct <laughs> um are there people out there like that sure um this feels more like a vibration thing though Let's get you out of wherever you're feeling stuck, okay? Okay, moving into the general, the general energy here, Ace of Pentacles comes through. So we're talking about new opportunities, a new job, new way of making money, maybe a move. Um, this does feel like work for some of you where you're feeling stuck. And it doesn't have to be an extreme degree. It could be, it could be an extreme degree, but it could even just be like, wow, I'm, I'm just... I don't like my job anymore, you know, or I just, I feel like I've been here for too long. I'm not growing, whatever. So we're talking about new opportunities coming forward. If there aren't new opportunities knocking on your door, <laughs> um, the encouragement with the Ace of Pentacles here is to go find those opportunities. Go grab them. They're out there. What does that mean? Go apply to new jobs if you're looking for a new job. Think about starting a business. Go start looking into what's needed to start a business. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like um, with that, back to that 911, 1414 on the timer, back to that 911 and feeling that um, it's okay to ask for help or request support, but that first step is needing to be taken by you. That's, that's kind of what I'm getting here with the Ace of Pentacles. Like before going out and requesting assistance from your friends to help you find a job, go look for a job yourself. You see what I'm saying? Go apply to jobs or apply to... Um, yeah, jobs that you find interesting, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, Ace of Wands comes through here too, to clarify. Hey, so we're talking about um, new, new journeys. New journeys. Um, uh, I'm being brought back to the don't attache. Um, it's not necessarily the 
real meaning of the word, but I think of like attached with attache. Don't attach. Um, it's feeling like with change here and adaptability as well, something will be changing here soon, especially as you're instigating this change, let's say, with intention. Um, a new journey. This is creativity, um, energy coming through here too. But a new, a new path. So Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. I feel like this is a whole new life, you guys. New job. New way of walking, right? <laughs> the way you're carrying yourself here. Okay, this is available. All right, liberation, right? Um, let's move into what the good stuff here for you. What kind of what kind of good stuff? Eight of Wands. Hey, <laughs> good news, my friends. Eight of Wands. So I do feel that things change and move quickly as soon as you get back in the driver's seat here. Um, I'm drawn back to the Enlightenment card with liberation and how they're mentioning, um, you know, how how we may be keeping ourselves stuck in some way, which we do from time to time, right? I think especially those of us that are ruled by Mercury, <laughs> we can very much get into that Eight of Swords energy of getting stuck in the mind. So Eight of Wands, though, being in your good stuff, this is this is movement, being able to move again quickly. Good news coming through here, too. Um, if you are in a place where you've already applied to jobs, that's what you're looking looking at doing and shifting here. I do feel a message coming forward for some of you regarding this employment. Receiving a message back on a resume or application. Yeah. Working your way up. I like that staircase imagery there. Working your way up, okay? Not working yourself up, but working your way up. Ten of Swords here, too, and the good stuff. So this, I feel, this is where um, you may be feeling trapped, where the trap is. Ten of Swords, this is rock bottom, betrayal, painful loss. Um, we can, especially when it is severe, or um, we find that it provides something for us like empathy or pity from people, we can get stuck in the Ten of Swords. So what I'm getting from this being in the good stuff with Eight of Wands especially is there. this is an opportunity for you to finally really move on from whatever this painful loss was or betrayal. If you are finding yourself stuck in this energy, the only thing that we do with the Ten of Swords is get the hell out of there. <laughs> There's nothing, nothing to be gained with whatever this painful situation was. I, I'm kind of getting somebody maybe stuck on... Um, retribution and that's not uh i'm not saying you know what's right or wrong for anybody uh depending on what's happened here what i'm getting from that is that that is um not the focus that overall is going to get you out of whatever situation it is that you're trying to get out of in fact that that may be keeping you stuck in that ten of swords energy if you're focused on balancing the scales in some way it feels very much like you're being directed to get out of a situation, okay? So what you don't see coming or what's in the dark? <laughs> Queen of Swords. So a moment of truth. I feel that the writing maybe has been on the wall. Whatever the situation is you're needing to get out of. There have been signs that have come along here to show you that, well, maybe something needs to shift or I do need to get out of here. The Queen of Swords here is accepting the truth. She's seeking the truth. Even if it's painful, she'll share the truth too, right? She's blunt, but she's kind. She understands the situation, but she's still focusing on the truth. So the truth in this situation, what, what you don't see here, maybe is that you deserve to get out of a situation, that you are fully capable of making a change in some way, of getting out of a situation, moving into another situation capable of pursuing new opportunities and new ventures. Magnetizing that towards you is something I'm getting to. Mm, I do kind of feel interesting for some, some of you here. This isn't for everybody. Speaking of Virgo shadow, somebody may be um, hiding behind the truth here. Okay. In, in parent or in uh, air quotes here. What I mean by that is, um, like I said, Mercury energy, Virgo, very intelligent, very intelligent, Gemini, very intelligent, right? 
Very intelligent signs with that Mercury energy. Sometimes um, we can maybe even fool ourselves into believing something is true when it's not actually. Um, maybe we misunderstood something when we were learning about something or we just didn't, we were, we're wrong, right? We're not correct in something, but we feel that we are. And because we have an intelligence, we may try to um, hide behind that or use that as a shield or make other people feel less than because uh, we feel that we know. And roles could be reversed here, of course, you guys, cross watchers and such. Uh, but that's what a message for someone that I'm getting to not hide behind whatever it is that you think is the truth. If it is the truth, it will persist it will outshine everything else there's no need to um, use it as a shield or a blade right the truth will prevail period so in this i feel the encouragement is to um not close yourself off so much if this is you in this situation open yourself up to other truths that may be possible or open yourself up to the reality that you may be incorrect in something as well that's not for everyone but for someone okay um the lovers comes through here next <laughs> well wow well, wow well. well you don't see coming what's in the dark there may be a relationship for some of you this is gemini <laughs> this is gemini energy um like i was saying both both mercury signs here gemini and virgo with the queen of swords that that can happen it's shadow gemini shadow virgo too um and i can speak to that from personal experience as well it's it's gotten uh, to be a much more enjoyable experience to become flexible to the reality that yeah, I can be wrong. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. It's true. We all can. We're all human, right? Uh, but th but those of us, like I said, if you do have a high intelligence, it's easier to um, use something that may not actually be true <laughs> as truth over somebody else. With the lovers coming through, this could have something to do with the relationship uh past or current for some of you that truth i'm feeling like where you may be wrong interesting or where we may be wrong hmm. this is feeling like a story surrounding a relationship if where you're stuck is in a relationship right now what i'm getting is like a narrative that um you can't you can't leave for whatever reason like like the sunken cost fallacy is what's coming to mind which is um I've put so much effort into this already. I have to keep going. Okay. Um, and that is, that is not true. That's a lie. So some of you may be struggling with that too. Like, oh, well, I've been married for 25 years or I have kids or we built this whole life. So I can't leave. That's not true. That's not true. The only thing that's keeping you in that situation is the perception of what it is that you think is true. Okay. Cool. I do feel overall, though, with the lovers, there's a decision that needs to be made. And this is what you're maybe not seeing that's in the dark. There's an there's a need to make a decision to get the hell out of somewhere. Nobody else can make that decision for you. <coughs> Pair down. <laughs> OK, so difficulty at this time. Yes. All right. I do feel like there is a little bit of a struggle with with shadow right now, Virgo. Ten of Swords, this is your difficulty. And you had this in your good stuff here too. So this is an opportunity here to really leave wherever this pain exists. <clears throat> it's not going to totally disappear, but what's coming through on this is somebody is, is still in this energy. Whether it's a current relationship that's going on, job, whatever, something that's happened in the past, betrayal, pain-wise... Somebody is carrying this, okay? You're, we're carrying this with us, and it needs to be released. Like I said, the only thing to do with the Ten of Swords is to get the hell out of there. All pain, no game. Okay? Four of Pentacles comes through here, too. So this is your security, your stability. Um, I feel like if this is you where you are feeling stuck here in this Ten of Swords energy... What I'm getting from that is the idea of a comfort zone. It's maybe not necessarily comfortable or it's not actually comfortable, um, but it's what you're used to. So maybe you've lived a life or maybe you're still attached to a relationship from the past or currently job, whatever, where it's mostly been pain. 
these these lives do exist. And um, I'm sorry, you know, for any pain. I do truly feel that way. And I also know that we can't escape it as a human. That's really what we're here to experience and to learn through. So this message is feeling like there's just that need to take that step away from this Ten of Swords, but there's difficulty because this maybe is all you've ever known. And if that's the case, that can be a lot harder, yes, to move forward into the great unknown. But in reality, it's all unknown for all of us. So um, that bravery and courage that's needed to move forward is is still required for you here is, is required for all of us and no matter what it is that we're doing. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pull, let's pull a piece of advice here on the difficulty real quick. <laughs> Leap of faith. Exactly what I was saying. Taking a risk, stepping into the beauty of the unknown. This feels comfortable, whatever the situation is, because it's what you're used to. And there is courage that is required to take the step into the great unknown, okay? I just said that. New opportunity, insights gained from a new experienced job or partner. <laughs> yes, okay, we're making changes. Liberation, elevated exit. Let's get the hell out of whatever's not working, all right? Um, I am gonna pull, which deck do we want? Crows, urban crow, tarot, or oracle here. We'll pull an oracle card, and then I am gonna move into the extended part Do If you guys wanna join me there, I'll have links in the description of the video. Um, we're gonna go over direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. All right, what do we have here for Virgo, please, spirit? Hmm, distraction comes through. I'm gonna read this from the book here too. Distraction. <laughs> All right, distraction. Oops. So two crows work together to distract a dog. The purpose? To steal something it values, something that provides nourishment. It's food. Someone or a situation may be calling you away from what you need to focus on, and as a result, you may end up losing something of value. Where are you turning your attention? Will it prove beneficial or a waste of time and resources? Distraction appears when your attention is focused on daydreaming or engaging in activities that take you away from doing the work that in the end will create success. Distraction can be as simple as being lured into binging your favorite show or focusing on a flight of fancy that will prove to be nothing more than a waste of time. When distraction is pulled in a reading, you may need to consider if the situation you are inquiring about is in fact nothing more than a distraction, something that is taking your attention away from a more valuable opportunity. It may also serve as a warning that a successful conclusion may be at risk due to something drawing your attention away from the goal. Okay. I totally feel, you guys, the distraction is the comfort zone. The distraction is this pain. Faith, leap of faith, courage. There's a need to, to push ourselves, even if like you feel super attached to it. Force yourself to take a step forward, to move away from whatever this painful situation is, okay? It's, it's taking energy and possibility away from whatever the ace of pentacles and ace of wands is talking about here a new journey a new opportunity as well okay all right virgo i love you if you guys want to join me for the extended like i said i'll have uh, links in the description of the video here oh and i forgot to say in the beginning too we did hit a year here with the channel on october 6th so i am giving away a free reading to celebrate if you do want to enter for that free reading I have a link in the description of this video. Um, there's a short video you can watch with instructions on how to enter. The video will be down here in this corner as well if you want to click on that uh, at the end here. Um, please, you guys, if this reading did resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support me in the growth of this channel, and I truly appreciate it. I couldn't do this without you. I would not do this without you, all right? Um, I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in there as well if you feel called to donate this reading did resonate with you, I will accept that. It's not mandatory. But to those who do donate to the channel and support the channel in that way, thank you guys. I couldn't do this without you either. All right, everyone, please take care of yourselves, and I will see you all very, very soon. Be well.